Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe and share to help support the channel. Pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one pre- and post-RV planning tool for the dinar and cryptocurrency communities. Also, download your free blockchain-based Secure Brave browser, and the free Pi Crypto Mining application for your phone and get paid in cryptocurrency for doing what you normally do anyway. Your time is of value, isn't it time you get paid for it? You can take advantage of these and other valuable programs in the description below. First article of interest for today. The stock market confirms its continuation of plans to develop electronic systems. On Monday, the Iraq Stock Exchange confirmed its continuation of plans for developing electronic systems for the year 2020 to 2021. The market said in a statement, Economy News received a copy of it that, on the occasion of the anniversary of the launch of electronic trading and central deposit in the Iraq Stock Exchange for the first time in the history of Iraq in April 2009. He added that, on this occasion, the Board of Governors of the Iraq Stock Exchange confirms in its remote meeting using modern meeting methods to continue the plans for developing electronic systems for the year 2020 to 2021, including cooperation with Iraqi colleges and universities to implement the trading simulation and training program for students, and the implementation of the remote trading program for investors. He continued that, cooperation has been made with the Securities Commission and joint stock companies listed on the Iraq Stock Exchange to comply with the annual disclosure and provide audited financial statements for the joint stock companies, taking into account the due standards for the disclosure of material events. He emphasized, cooperation with the Securities Commission and the Central Bank of Iraq in issuing instructions and rules required to encourage investment and diversify securities in a manner that serves the directions of the Iraqi economy and the community's need for types of investment and financial services. He indicated that, the health crisis and the elimination of the global epidemic and the corona pandemic in Iraq and in the world will soon be overcome with your patience and commitment. We thank the efforts of the health personnel in Iraq, the military staff, the Baghdad municipality and the Iraqi community for high response and awareness. He called the market to practice your activity and investment activity in securities after lifting the curfew in accordance with the approved mechanisms and attention to periodic and annual disclosures and the development of your future plans. Next article of interest. The central bank issues a new directive to all of Iraq's banks. On Tuesday, the central bank of Iraq directed all banks to meet customer requests throughout the week, after the crisis sell decision, with the exception of all banks from the curfew decision. It stated in a document issued by the bank and directed to approved banks obtained by Shafiq News, that, based on what was included in the decisions of the crisis sell formed according to Dawania Order No. 55, for the year 2020 installed in paragraph 1 of the Ministry of Health Book Minister's Office numbered 422 on 24 March 2020, which excluded all bank employees from the decision to ban roaming, and in order to maintain the permanence and smoothness of work, the following are attributed to the following, direct your banks to meet the demands of customers for all days of the week taking into account the preventive measures issued by the official authorities to limit the spread of the epidemic, Corona. Next article of interest. Citizens, prices are at their normal levels. Despite halting the import of hundreds of products about a month ago, the markets have not witnessed a clear impact, as happens in countries that are advanced, if hundreds of tons of various foodstuffs and vegetables daily enter Baghdad and the provinces. The Baghdad Operations Command confirmed the entry of 14,749 meals carrying foodstuffs to the capital from the beginning of the curfew until now, in cooperation with the Baghdad Chamber of Commerce. The economist Thamer Al-Azawi said in a statement to Al-Saba, wholesale centers and others have managed to meet the needs of the market so far. Animal Production 
He added that, the ministries of agriculture and trade succeeded during the period of imposing the embargo in building bridges of trust between farmers and animal production companies, traders and citizens. However, he pointed out that, many imported products are beginning to shrink in the markets, calling the crisis sell with the exception and support of factory owners and workers to fill the void. Citizens assert that, the prices of food and vegetables have not risen well above their rates and the permissible limit. Necessary needs, they told Al Saba, when we hear the news and call our relatives in some Arab and Western countries as they talk about food shortages, we thank God, especially since most of the necessary and basic needs are available. They stressed, the importance of expediting the disbursement of the emergency grant that the government launched an application for, especially with hundreds of thousands of citizens being affected by the curfew. In this regard, Minister of Agriculture Saleh al-Hassani said, The rise in prices is due to the weak souls of sellers in the markets and we ask the economic security to monitor prices. Amid this picture, the Baghdad Chamber of Commerce revealed proposals to address the problems that dealers suffer from due to the current situation. Commercial Traffic, Director of the Supervision and Follow-up Department at the Baghdad Chamber of Commerce Omar al-Sudani said, The Chamber presented the traders' proposals to the Prime Minister regarding the problems that represent a challenge to the commercial movement. He pointed out that, the most prominent of these proposals is to solve the issue of selling the dollar by selling it directly to traders. And, as well as facilitating the entry of foodstuffs to all commercial areas through control, without any obstacles. Al Sudani indicated that, the Baghdad Chamber of Commerce went to the local markets and followed all the prices, and what was going on in the stores. Weaknesses, problems and shortcomings were diagnosed within the stores, noting that, the room listened to all the merchants, and was briefed on their most prominent problems. Enter the trucks, he added that, the problems of the merchants line the entry of foodstuffs through the checkpoints to the commercial areas in Baghdad, as well as the sale of the dollar exchange from the central bank, which led to the rise in exchange rates. People involved. He continued. The Prime Minister promised that the coming days, the dollar will be sold directly to the merchant and to all exchange offices and private banks, in addition to facilitating the movement of trucks entering the transport of food materials. Next article of interest. The Salvation Front. Our policy with the next government is based on three main factors. The Salvation and Development Front confirmed on Tuesday that its policy with the next government will not be based on three main factors. The Front's policy with the next government is based on three main factors, removing Iraq from the Iranian whirlpool, limiting the role of the corrupt who control the state's joints, and the government's policy towards our regions, said Athil Nujafi, the leader of the Front. Al Nujafi added, therefore, we do not have a negative or positive preposition, but we are awaiting his way in choosing his cabinet and the way he deals with the corrupt. He, pointed out, among the main points that will prove the correctness of the path of the next government is its seriousness in holding early elections. If this seriousness is achieved, then it means that it will be an interim government governed by the results of the upcoming elections. He explained that, the main factor that will govern the situation of Iraq in the next few months is the relationship with the international community and the ability to achieve security and prevent economic collapse. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more videos are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter as I post daily on those platforms throughout the day as well. I listed the links below. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the all-new Exchange Planner Companion. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off of checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for a limited time. Don't forget to download your Pi Cryptocurrency application and start mining cryptocurrency for free on your cell phone today. The links to these and other invaluable programs are all available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power. Using that knowledge is powerful. Over and out for now. The Denarian.